Hello everyone and thank you again for joining me in this new episode of Snowpiercer. So today's turn is for season 1 episode 7. I am almost getting closer to the uh, season finale. Uh, so, so far, Leighton has already waken up from uh, the, the drawers. He's finally recovered. He went to chase Melanie because he was really angry. And she confessed something huge to Leighton, which is that the train is in a really critical condition, that those 11 cars with only drawers are meant as a last resource in case the train stops working. Uh, this is a huge reveal. I know that Leighton... Uh, is still having to figure out a lot of things. He's really clever though. Uh, and the final thing was that Miles has been summoned by Mr. Wilford for some reason. Uh, and I got really scared because I thought this was maybe what happened in the movie, that they were using children to be like spare parts of the train. Uh, we also saw, saw a little bit of drama with Till and her girlfriend and also Oz. Apparently he's got like issues with his mom. And we finally got this really romantic moment between Leighton and Josie. So I am finally ready to see my episode. Uh, today I'm only going to be having iced tea. I am ready, so let's get this done. Ugh, this girl, I hate her so badly. Ooh. Ooh, now nobody Caught. wants to be with them. For our fragile little heart. Oh, what a different way to wake up for these two with yeah, actual sunlight. I think he's going to control his secret and knows the best way to use it. Of course. Only I'm not going to let him. I don't like the sound of that. You have the train on me. I have the train. That's his manipulation card, isn't it? Like giving him the train, giving him this big responsibility is just a way to manipulate them. Miles? The young man known as Miles and Miles will be fast tracked to the engine. Welcome, Miles. That doesn't sound good at all. It's your day off, Ruth. Stop working. Take a break. You have to turn third, but we have to make contact with Miles too. Otherwise, how are you going to control the train? Three hours. Oh, of course they know about him. Are we going to see the worst of her? Do you know the punishment for trafficking drugs on Mr. Wilford's train? They are obviously onto him. An arm? Dominant side. And he's yeah. not afraid of her. Not very callous for a mop and bucket guy, are you? He's afraid. He got really afraid. And then I'm bringing it to you. Oh, that's him. I hardly recognize you out of uniform. Uh, None of us do. do. You know, I could get used to hearing your pretty voice over the loudspeaker. Speaking to the train like that is a great comfort. There's many of us who appreciate everything you do. Is he getting on her? I wonder if you'd like to go for lunch. Oh, wow. Don't be like that. Yeah, take it. Coast yeah. Today. I hope he's not messing around or just toying with her emotions. I don't feel so good. Hold it. Hold it. So, this class is teaching children about a giraffe uh, and blah, 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 or whatever. They are like in really, like real kindergarten. This whole place looks like a kindergarten. And they're going to pick up somebody from that class to replace an engineer. Let that sink in. Bring me the key people you trust. She, he's asking her to risk a lot. Is he really going to tell them? Sorry, we made you sick. Anyway, I could get to see you. I miss you. That is so horrible. Tell Ian I'm ready. Come on. He's so brave. We might all see. What's it like working with Mr. Wilford? He's he Bye. totally saw that. So the teacher is in it too. 
She was trying to flaunt him, to distract him. Of course he saw that. Why didn't he chase her any further? Look at you. The whole car to ourselves. I think this guy's trying to use her though. This guy doesn't seem nice at all. I have to be honest. There's another aspect to this luncheon. <laughs> Told you. Commander, a number of passengers feel that Melanie has too much power, too much influence with Mr. Wilford. Are you bloody kidding me? That is why your daughter is out. Change. If that were to happen, Ooh, would you be interested in having a revolution up? from third from first? The only reason I'd even consider this is my faith in you. You don't have faith in her. You know you can control her, or he thinks he can control her, manipulating her with flatter and stuff. I understand you're pregnant. Congratulations. Oh my goodness, Melanie's such a villain. It's a 10 mile mark from tail to engine. Thousands of doors. Okay, what if I told you all those doors? 10 miles! Could be I pulled back the curtain and I found out something that deep down. Everyone. I think knew. you all already know. <laughs> yeah. What are you gonna do? Are they gonna throw her back to the tail? You better not rest. That's her, that's Josie. <laughs> I told you she was gonna sell them out. I knew it. Oh God, no! Oh my God! Oh, I'm so angry. Till is pissing her pants. So I know you won't let me go. No matter what you're about to promise. Straight. Did you know his mother died getting on this train? That's not her business anyway. He is part of my family now. Are you gonna freeze her? I was so wrong. I was so oh my goodness, no. Melanie, stop! Melanie, stop! Stop! No! Don't do it! yourself you can swim in your own vomit for all i care there's one more thing i need you to do drugs this is the last remnants of humanity so whatever it is i have real problems just do your job and fix it not a good attitude melanie well of course melanie whatever you say you just uh, the right time and the right moment, Melanie. Your hand. What happened to it? No! Take her to compost. But to be an engineer on Snowpiercer. You have to make sacrifices, and that can be hard. Oh my god, I am so afraid for Miles now. You have a very different experience now. It's a bad religion. Now, would you like to know the dirtiest little secret on the whole damn train? Oh, oh, wow. Well, she's just, she's, she, yeah, she's the best option to spread rumors like that. I, no, I just can't stand the fact that Josie is gone. Like, no, I don't accept this. I loved Josie so much. She was so faithful. She was a true companion to, uh, for Leighton. Um, she was like, um, I don't know how to say it. Oh my God, I still have a little tear. Uh, I don't know how to say it, but she was like the real deal with him. Like, she was all the time with him. Um... She really loved Leighton. She died because of love. She died because of her ideals. She died for the right reasons. And she had a terrible death. 
she was tortured. She lost her hand to just one more chance to escape and to subdue Melanie, but Melanie just got the best out of her. I don't know. Melanie right now, it's she's she's deranged. She's deranged. She's a terrible person. Like I said before, at first I kind of liked her. Like, of course, she's resourceful. She's intelligent. She has to do tough decisions. Ooh, the, the trial. But right now she's on full mode as a villain. I cannot stand her. Her vomiting, I didn't care at all. Because she, she, she shouldn't be doing this. I don't think that she's doing the things... I don't think that this is like to the point where she has to use her last resources. And she's definitely pulling those. Um, she lost an ally by talking to her to, like that to Ruth. Ruth obviously is gonna um, from from that kind of look that she gave her. That last look uh, is like, yeah, probably you shouldn't be in charge. Even though that was a very important thing that she had to communicate. Though she was being a true friend and she behaved like. And now she's gonna harvest a lot of crap because of all the stupid things she's been doing. Um, I don't know. Melanie is one of those characters that I'm like, somebody has to stop her. And I don't know if the boyfriend knows how horrendous she can get to be. I, I don't know. I hope he doesn't know so that when he finds out, he just dump her ass. And I am truly scared about Miles. I am thinking that uh, all of these things that she's saying about sacrifices and stuff, I think his destiny, like he's a child and he understands a little more uh, about, you know, physics and stuff. I think he's going to be like a spare part of the train. I think that the sacrifice and the way that she was telling him about the sacrifice and all that, she really seemed disturbed. So I don't know if she was disturbed because of what she just did or if she was disturbed because of what's going to happen to Miles. Either way, she didn't look fine at all. And I cannot wait for the next episode. Anything. Anyway, um, the, the revolution seems to be happening. Uh, Leighton is, you know, taking charge um, on communicating a really big secret that can take Melanie down. This is why Melanie is becoming so obsessed with finding Leighton before he can move any way further. But the, the steps that he has taken already are enough to continue the revolution without him. I think he's done enough damage to Melanie up until this episode. Um, and just like uh, the artist, I don't know what the name of the singer is, uh, she once told Melanie, there's not going to be another disaster to save her. And I think this is it. You know, the revolution is forming with or without any more disasters in the future. Uh, they are not going to get so easily manipulated like uh, Melanie could do it with Mr. Wilford's presence. And just like Leighton said, this is something everybody else knew. So uh, this is going to fall by just logic and people is just going to join. Tail is definitely a believer after what she saw that happened to Josie, the way that Melanie handled things, and how humanity is being lost in its own attempts to be preserved. Go figure. It's just a stupid paradox that Melanie is the main uh, advocate of, uh, you know, trying to preserve humanity, but she is the first one to lose it, actually. So, go figure. Anyway. Thank you for joining me on this episode. I'll see you in the next one, which will be obviously episode number eight. Take care and bye-bye.